Hey everyone, Chris here, and in this video, I'll be discussing Asana. Asana is a powerful project management tool that helps teams collaborate and stay organized. It allows you to create tasks, assign them to the team members, set deadlines, track progress, and communicate within the platform. If you're new to project management or just need a refresh on how to use Asana, then this tutorial is perfect for you. In this tutorial, I'll cover the basics of Asana, I'll guide you how to get started with Asana, and give you a tour of its main features. I'll also show you how to create tasks in Asana, and at the end, I'll discuss the different plans and pricing options available. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of Asana and how it can help you streamline your workflow, boost productivity, and achieve your goals. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Asana, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description. So click on the first link you find there, and this will take you to the correct homepage. Once you're on the homepage, click on the Get Started button on the homepage. This will begin the process of registering your account. You have the option to sign up with your Google account or your email address, so choose the one that works the best for you and proceed with creating your Asana account. Once you signed up, you'll need to personalize your account. Just follow the on-screen prompts and fill in the required information. After you've personalized your account, your 30-day free trial will begin and you can be taken to your account dashboard. From here, you can start exploring Asana. The Asana dashboard is designed to be user-friendly and very intuitive, with a left menu that contains all the main features and functionalities. In this tutorial, we'll take a closer look at each of these features to help you understand what they do. The Create option is where you can start building your workflow. From here, you can create new tasks, projects, messages, teams, and portfolios. You can also invite your team members to join Asana and start collaborating. The Home section is the central hub of your dashboard. It's likely the first page you see when you log in, and it provides a quick overview of your account. You can view a guide to complete your account setup, see a summary of your ongoing tasks, projects, and people, and get started with Asana. The My Tasks section is where you can manage your individual tasks. You can view, organize, and prioritize your tasks, as well as create new ones. You can also view your tasks in different formats, such as lists, boards, calendars, and files, to help you stay organized and focused. The inbox is an essential part of your Asana dashboard, where you'll receive notifications and messages related to your tasks and projects. This feature helps you keep track of your updates and changes, and you can even send invitations and start collaborating with others right from here. The Insights feature offers valuable information about your reporting, portfolios, and goals. You can also create new insights by clicking on the plus icon next to it and following the prompts. This feature provides a deeper understanding of your workflow and helps you make data-driven decisions. The reporting feature offers insights into analytics, providing valuable data for evaluating team performance and efficiency. This feature helps you identify areas for improvement and optimize your workflow for better results. The portfolios feature allows you to group multiple projects together, giving team members a comprehensive overview of several projects at once. This is particularly useful for tracking progress on a larger scale and understanding how different projects are connected. Setting goals is an essential part of achieving success, and Asana makes it easy to add top-level goals to help teams prioritize and connect their work to your organization's objectives. This feature ensures everyone is working towards the same objective. The Projects section is where you'll find all of the projects you're a part of, each with its own set of tasks, deadlines, and assigned team members. This section helps you stay organized and focused on the projects that matter most. The team section is all about collaboration and communication. Here you'll find all of the teams you're a part of, making it easy to connect with your team members and work towards common goals. In addition to the left menu, you'll find your profile in the top right corner of the dashboard. From here, you can manage organization, invite members to Asana, update your profile and settings, and even add another Asana account if you need to. This section gives you control over your Asana experience and helps you customize it to your needs. Now let's see how to create tasks in Asana. To create a task in Asana, start by clicking the plus create option at the top left menu. This will open a drop down menu with various options including task, project, message, team, portfolio, and invite. Since we want to create a task, we'll select the task option. Once we've selected the task option, a small window will appear at the bottom right side of the screen and this is where we'll enter the details of our task. In the task name field, enter a descriptive name for your task. This should be a brief summary of what task involves so your team members can quickly understand what's required. The goal is to make it clear and concise so everybody's on the same page. Next, assign the task to a team member by selecting their name from the For section. You can even assign the task to yourself if you're the one responsible for completing it. 
Furthermore, you can also assign a task to a specific project. To do this, click on the In Project field, which allows you to select from existing projects or create a new one. This helps you keep your task organized and connected to the right project. Next, add a detailed description of the task, including any necessary steps, requirements, deadlines, and other important information. This ensures that whoever is responsible for the task has all the information they need to complete it successfully. Below in the description field, you'll see a row of icons that allow you to add an attachment, set due dates, use AI assist options, mention other team members, add emojis, format your text, and insert objects. These icons help you add context and clarity to your task. To assign collaborators to the task, click on the plus icon next to the Create Task button on the bottom right side. This opens the Edit Collaborators field, where you can add team members who are responsible for completing the task. Finally, once you've filled in all the necessary information, click the Create Task button to create your task. This will add the task to your project and notify any assigned collaborators. In terms of pricing, Asana offers four plans and pricings to cater to the needs of different users, from small startups to large enterprises. The plans are designed to provide flexibility and scalability as your team grows and evolves. The starter plan, priced at $10.99 per seat per month, provides essential features such as tracking team projects with timelines, custom fields, and a workflow builder. This plan is ideal for small teams and startups. The advanced plan, priced at $24.99 per month per seat, builds upon the starter plan and adds features like goals, 100 portfolios, and workload management. This plan is suitable for growing teams and businesses. The enterprise plan is designed for large enterprises and offers advanced features such as SAML, unlimited portfolios, and user provisioning and deprovisioning, or SCIM. The pricing for this plan requires a conversation with the sales team. Finally, the enterprise plan is designed for companies that need, and need to meet strict compliance requirements with flexible and precise controls. The pricing for this plan also requires a conversation with the sales team. Asana offers a 30-day free trial for the starter and advanced plans, after which users can choose to upgrade their plans based on their team's needs. Additionally, Asana also offers discounts and for annual billing. With four different plans to choose from, Asana enables teams of all sizes to access the right tools and features for their needs at an affordable price. This makes it a popular project management tool among businesses of all sizes. All right, that's it for this tutorial on how to use Asana. I hope you found this video useful and you learned something new. If you found this content helpful, please give it a thumbs up to show your appreciation. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please do not hesitate to comment below. I always try to do my best to respond to all comments and provide helpful answers. Thank you for watching and take care.